Welcome back to another Info Index video. Today we're going to be talking about quadratics. So, a quadratic is any equation that can be expressed in the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, where a is not equal to zero. So this is known as the standard form of a quadratic equation. For example, if we have the equation y equals 3x squared minus 5x plus 12, a would equal 3, b would equal negative 5, and c would be 12. So, let's try to plot a quadratic on a graph. So we're given a table of values from x is negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And we're going to be talking about the equation y is equal to x minus 1 all squared minus 2. And here's a graph for reference. So, when x is negative 2, we can plug in negative 2 into the equation. Negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. Negative 3 squared is 9, and 9 minus 2 is 7. So the y value when x is negative 2 is 7. And we can plot that point, negative 2 comma 7, onto the graph. When x is negative 1, y would be equal to 2. When x is 0, y is negative 1. When x is 1, y is negative 2. When x is 2, y is negative 1. When x is 3, y is 2. When x is 4, y is 7. So you can see that we have this sort of U-shaped curve that will represent our graph. So if we were to put every single possible x value between negative 2 and 4 into this equation, we would get this smooth curve, and that's what's known as a quadratic. So let's talk about the vertex form of a quadratic. The vertex form of a quadratic occurs when it is in the form y is equal to a times x minus h all squared plus c. So this form is especially convenient because the variables h and c tell us where the vertex of the graph is located. So the vertex would either be the lowest point on the quadratic or the highest point. The a term will give us an idea of whether the u shape of the graph goes up or down. So let's continue on. For example, we can look at the previous example where y is equal to x minus 1 squared minus 2. Notice how the vertex of the graph is on the point 1 comma negative 2. We can tell from y is equal to a times x minus h squared plus c that the vertex in general is h comma c. Now we can talk about the factored form of a quadratic. The factored form of a quadratic equation occurs when it is in the form y is equal to a times x minus b times x minus c. So essentially this has been factored, and we can use factored form to determine the zeros of the equation. Another word for a zero is an x-intercept, so basically when the graph touches the x-axis. The values of b and c tell us at exactly which x-values the graph hits the x-axis. Okay, continuing onwards, we can take a look at an example. So here, y is equal to x squared minus 5x plus 4. We can factor this, and we can get y is equal to x minus 4 times x minus 1. Now, if you don't know how to factor it, you can check out our other video about factoring. Because we are in the factored form of the quadratic, we now know that the zeros, or x-intercepts, of the equation are at 4 and 1. And we can look at the graph on the right side, and you can tell that the points where the graph touches the x-axis are at x equals 1 and x equals 4. So now we can talk about the properties of a quadratic. So a quadratic equation has either an absolute minimum or an absolute maximum, as mentioned earlier. So on the graph on the left, we see an absolute minimum. So that's the lowest point that the graph will ever touch in this equation. So quadratics are also known as second-degree polynomials, as the highest degree in the equation is a squared term from the x squared. It's important to note that not all quadratics have zeros. They may have one, two, or even no zeros at all. Now, at this point, we've been given an introduction to quadratics. This is very basic, but it's still very useful for our future lessons that get more complicated. Thank you for listening.